What's going on, Jerome? So an interesting name in this quarterback class is, of course, J.J. McCarthy, national champion at Michigan. All he does is win, 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 no matter what. But is his game going to translate to the National Football League or were the, the Wolverines a run first offense because of McCarthy's limitations as a passer? Who knows? But also you think, too, so Harbaugh, former NFL quarterback, you think that he would showcase QBs now? Not, not really. Hmm. Uh, but McCarthy does have the tools. He, he does have the mobility. He does have the accuracy and upside. Uh, that's why he is indeed a hot name in this NFL draft. And he's firmly in the quarterback four territory and maybe even higher. Uh, and the Vikings have been doing uh, their due diligence on the pride of Michigan. And uh, they had their you know, multi-day private meeting uh, with Quasey and Kevin O'Connell uh, and staff in tow. And basically... You know, Kevin O'Connell is looking for that uh, for for that conductor for his orchestra, a guy who's going to operate the offense inside the framework. And I think that's one of the reasons why Kevin O'Connell did so well with Kirk Cousins, because Kurt is very good at operating the the offense within the framework uh, of it, and you know, making plays off script not really his bag. And with McCarthy, uh, can he improvise a little bit? Sure, but what he is very good at is operating exactly what the offense offensive play caller wants as well as taking what the defense gives them making good decisions taking care of the football and not being the reason uh, that you lose and that's exactly why you know McCarthy does have some upside plus I feel like given his youth given his his tools I think that he can scale to eventually be a guy that you win because of not just a guy that you win with that's why you know it's sort of yeah, f- f- physicality wise not really a good comp but could you call him Brock Purdy plus? Certainly. I mean, we went to just went to a Super Bowl with Brock Purdy. Mm. Uh, but the Vikings probably are going to have to maneuver up for McCarthy. I don't see him falling to 11. I think that's a pipe dream. I, I think that he is going to be one of the first four quarterbacks taken. I, I would wager a very large amount of money that he, or sorry, Jelly Beans for entertainment purposes only, uh, that he will go at least in the top six. I don't think he gets by the Giants at six. And also the rumors innuendo that the Raiders and the Broncos will be in on him, especially stupid ass Sean Payton. Yeah, I, I think they're, uh, they are legit. Long story longer. So, Prite Ricke Spielman, former general manager of the Vikings, uh, now very prominent uh, in the media, 33rd team as well as CBS Sports. Uh, we had some good times with Rick. I mean, he's very memeable. It was good times. Well, uh, Rick, I feel like Rick didn't really get the credit that he deserved. Like, he had some hits, yes. He had some misses, yes. But I mean, overall, he was uh, an above average general manager, which, there you go. Uh, but he did have some thoughts on J.J. McCarthy. Now, uh, Spielman's a big fan uh, of McCarthy. He is effusive of his praise. He sees uh, the scalable traits. So he, he's in. He, he's fully in on J.J. McCarthy, and that's uh, important for uh, for the context uh, of his comments here. So PFT, uh, Mike Florio, it's not a thermos. Uh, former Vikings GM Rick Spielman thinks JJ uh, Vikings will overpay to get J.J. McCarthy. Uh, the Vikings, blah, 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 blah. Former Vikings GM Rick Spielman believes uh, they will and that they'll pay through the nose. Appearing on CBS Sports Podcast, Spielman predicted the Vikings will gladly overpay to get in position to draft former Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy. Quote, they're going to have to give uh, picks 11-23 and their 2025 first, plus some more draft capital, Spielman said. Uh, I think J.J. will be a good pro, uh, but Minnesota will overpay to get him. At this point, they don't have a choice. Now, it's important to note that Spielman, big fan of J.J., uh, as well as uh, he says that the Vikings will gladly overpay uh, to get into that position uh, for McCarthy. And also, Spielman... But who, by the way, drafted Christian Ponder number twelve overall. By the way, uh, as well as, yeah, I think we know. I mean, I mean, Pritte Ricky Spielman ha- has a history of overpaying quarterbacks, either in draft capital or a cold hard cash. Now, uh, a potential trade up uh, with the Cardinals to get to four. Uh, all right, so th- th- that's probably the the bottom, right? Where I feel like maybe you can trade into five if Arizona sticks and picks, but if it does go down, where it goes, Williams one. Daniels to May three to the Patriots, and then McCarthy is available at four. I mean, you got to leapfrog the Giants, and you got to stay ahead of the Broncos and the Raiders. And uh, if it does indeed cost the eleven twenty three, as well as a future first, uh, as Spielman was uh, was getting at, uh, I mean, it's kind of spendy. Now, some of the older draft charts uh, think that this is relatively equal, but uh, so the Spiel, uh, Fitzgerald Spielberger. Uh, yeah, the Vikings get crushed in this one. So the Vikings give up the equivalent of the number five overall pick in terms of value. So 
that's not uh, it's, it's not ideal, but that that is going to be the cost uh, to get into the dance. And if the Vikings are sold, uh, that McCarthy is indeed uh, that dude, and he is indeed uh, the the guy that's going to lead them to the promised land. Yes, I mean go go ahead and pay the cost and roll the dice. But you know, like Spielman says, I mean it, it is going to be expensive, and I mean, except hold on, like like Rick really doesn't know about trading up. Uh, high into the draft. He's traded into the back end of the first round a couple times, sure, uh, but trading all the way up hasn't really been in his DNA. H- hasn't really done that. So uh, m- maybe that's why he's a little scared of it. But again, it's important to note that Spielman says the Vikings will gladly overpay overpay to go get McCarthy and that he thinks that McCarthy is going to be really good. But hey, if that's what it costs and and uh, Quasey uh, and Kevin O'Connell have fully determined that McCarthy is the guy, go ahead. Go ahead. Just do it. Just do it. At, at this point, my body is ready for whatever the hell happens. Stick and pick, Penix, trade up for uh, McCarthy or May. I, I feel like those are the three most likely scenarios. I think Daniel's probably going to go two to Washington. Uh, so, hey, trade up for May. Hey, trade up for McCarthy. Hey, stick and pick with Penix. Don't care at this point. Just get one. We'll go from there, man. Anyways, uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Prite Ricke Spielman uh, thinks that the Vikings will overpay uh, for Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.